Welcome everybody to race three of Children of the Mountain <clears throat> on an awesome track today. We have sand sealed and delivered. If you guys have watched some of my other broadcasts before, you will have seen this track. I am very excited to see this track, see how it comes out, and uh, see how this racing entails. Uh, Children of the Mountain, uh, if you haven't come to this before is a social club look them up on social club uh, they also have an awesome discord and once a week they set up one of the coolest racing divisions i've ever seen with six divisions with about 16 players a piece uh, there's a voting process by which everybody puts together uh their cars so you, you'll see that the infernus classic made uh made the grade this week and uh those divisions determine how well you move up or down in each division. Today we're covering Division 2, and later on we'll be just covering Division 1. Uh, so the first one here is going to be Division 2. Uh, any of the COTMs over there, that's the Children of the Mountain group. Um, and I don't know if anybody's ever done racing before. If you have done, this is on Xbox One. And, uh, and if you haven't seen the names that are in this list before of people that are racing then you haven't seen any real racing on xbox now could i be wrong on that no so <laughs> so i'm gonna pull up my info here just in case you guys want to have any comments or anything and we are about to begin did have some connect. I mean, the thing about you know Xbox right now, especially with the uh, GTA side, is there's been some problems with setting anything above seven laps in races, and um, that's been an issue. And now we have a problem with some of the connectivity. But it looked like everybody got dialed in. So if you can see, there's a there's a full crowd of people here. Now. I start off on Zavi Camps, and the reason I start off is because I've raced him before, and I know his ability, and I'm pretty sure he's going to move up through the group here. Uh, that's the other thing is the way some of you guys may have been used to the way that uh, things are made fair among all racers. For the most part, most racers do um, a where they select a single car to everybody races, um, and you're going to start seeing things like curb boosting, uh, what's called wall banging and some other cute little tricks that are gonna drivers are gonna use like right there See he hit the wall there. That's gonna cause the little damage to the front end of the car It's gonna increase some of the compression in the spring rate and that's gonna actually speed up the car. Oh And Zavi spins early and gets railroaded. Wow So he's gonna get back into the group here. We're gonna move up to oh that design Of course, he's at the top, right? <laughs> so we have the 609s as they come across with the first lap here. And where are we at? So there's Oh That moving up with Smooth J behind him. He's moving up to the, is that the first position there? No, he's at sec between second and third. So we've got somebody else up in front. Who's that? So Friday, before Friday, I want us to go Smooth J. I think Smooth is something we covered before. I really like his racing style. Fairly high level character there. And are they coming up on lap traffic already or is that just... Okay, so I am too fast for you has entered first. And we have some people up here that we're running into. I, I may be lap traffic all the way starting... Be early time to get ahead of the pack here and get some uh, some lap traffic going, but it is what it is. So they're going to hit those curves as they come around the edge of the track, doing a little bit of shortcut in there. You can't hit that too much because if you do, you'll actually miss the checkpoint. And there's some stuff in that corner that can get you trapped and a little messed up. So something you want to stay out of. The reason I like sand sealed and delivered, and I think I've said this in one of my other videos too, but I think it's important to stress is that sand is not just a track where you 
have one kind of road surface that you're rolling on. You have regular road surface like this. So you have roads that, you know, are general roads. Then you have kind of a street course like this, and then it moves into stunt tracks that are more smooth. So every kind of dynamic that can be put on a vehicle is put on them. And taking turns a certain way, a specific way, you know, with any of the sand and other things, it actually makes the tire choice, uh, it makes the line choice, it makes everything that you do in this race uh, an integral. Uh, to the way you drive so sometimes you'll have racers that are really good with one type of racing they'll come in here and they'll do their drive and it's like you know why can't this guy you know why can't I do as well here as I'm doing on other tracks and it's because there's little things like going on the edge and getting in the dirt uh, that can hurt things like for instance tuner tires uh, maybe you had dirt tires and those dirt tires aren't really doing it for you on the, the, the street tracks or whatever um, they all play a key role in how you're going to race this race. And, uh, many people argue that, that, you know, tires don't, 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 uh, affect things. Uh, I'm, I would argue it a little bit, but, uh, so here we have O design. Let's jump up to O real quick. So he's jumped into first. He had, um, he had quite the move moving up. So we saw a pass in the back there. So there we go. So now let's look at our lap times. This is you come across the start finish line. So 104. So fancy club right now has the top line of 104.019. Looks like our first top. So Friday's got a good 104.019. Yeah, so there he goes moving back and forth. So you got these top times up here, 104344, 104.549, 104.325s. Looks like those 104.3s are kind of kind of going to be the dominant guys today. Um, you'll notice that two guys at the bottom do not have um, any sort of coverage. They're not moving. Those are our pit marshals for the day. So those guys are the guys that sit in the pit to make sure that everybody has their two standard pit stops uh, for each race. And O is up there just murdering the front of the track. But I, he's not the fastest. So you kind of wonder how that happened. Uh, there's a lot of things that people can make mistake wise, especially on a long race. A lot of times you'll hear me in other races, even though they're short, like 20 minute races, uh, you'll hear what I call the battle of attrition and the battle of attrition is really just, even if you're just running a controller over a certain amount of time, it tends to wear at you and cause you problems sooner or later. Your, your hand, your structure, you kind of get lazy, you get settled into racing and suddenly it's why did i hit that wall or why did i do that wrong or why did i take that that line a little bit differently than i should have um it's just just a matter of of time before that happens so you have to make sure that you maintain the mental stability throughout the race and that can be uh it can be a trick So we're going to look again here at what our laps are. Okay, so there you go. Oh, the time, 103.476. Bringing in his top lap on the last one. So there's your, there's your, you're the fastest. You're getting into it. <laughs> so let's jump in and try. See, now here's the four, four, uh, excuse me. Uh, 103s, and then we got the 104s. We have anybody else back there that's, let's go. I'm going to go back to Friday again. Because it's going to be tough to catch up anybody that's a whole second ahead of everybody. So here's Friday with Clarkson. And they've got some distance to make up. And that's the other thing with this race that you won't see many times with some of the other races. Is because of the dirt track that, that with the attrition. You see people that are kind of, they'll drop off. And they'll, they'll be distance between first, second, third, fourth. Um... And you, these these races right here, are open. They're all about ability. They're all about full speed of people, you know, continually being consistent uh, with their runs. So unlike events that have uh, part times or any sort of um, handicap system that they put into place, a lot of times with these races, uh, you're going to see somebody just drive away, and that's that's just ability and it is what it is so somebody will have that track they'll have that track specifically for them designed in perfectly for how they they drive and they play 
and they'll dominate the race which we're definitely seeing here people getting distance from each other and uh and splitting the difference but that's the thing is, is right here there's a couple of guys that have their you know their lap times are a little bit faster than everybody else's uh but they're suffering in the back so which is what we're saying about those that track consistency that you're going to need to have over the long haul to make up those you know point point four second differences between each other and we can see Jeremy up there. So let's see what we got up front. See if it, am I too fast for you as he moved up in the position here. And these guys, as they do better in each course, um, they're going to be moving up in division. So right now we're in division two. The more, the better you do, um, the better you're going to, you're going to have later on and you'll keep moving up divisions until you get to division one. So here's our leader right now and our top, let's see, top lap uh, guy too, pulling in a, almost a whole second, I believe, ahead of everybody else. And uh, and that's the thing is, is I want to take a look at what it takes to be a one three second person coming up on Banther here. Uh, and has lap traffic, I believe. Take it very smooth, rubbing a little bit on the front end, getting a little bit in the dirt. but still way ahead of his competition and you can tell with that speed carrying it through the corner let's see how he handles that there you go long ridden time that's the thing is he's actually moving a little bit over in that dirt to get it looks like getting a little bit more speed I mean you can't say he's wrong I mean he's got the fastest lap here Maybe if some of the Division One guys are watching the stream, they'll be able to say, hey, this is something you might want to think about later. And this, like I said, this is a tricky track. It's different from anything you're used to. It's not a direct inline stunt track. It, it, it tries to be something different, and it succeeds very well at it. I believe our race today is probably about 30 or so laps. So uh, the next race was supposed to be, I think, either 215 or 230, which will be Division One, And uh, in that race, we'll be covering that as well. Uh, if you're watching the stream, um, that'll be right after this one. We'll go from one to the next. And if you're not watching the stream, um, you're on YouTube, and the races will be coming up on Monday, and then they'll come up on Thursday. So well, let's do a little bit of moving through the track here. I'm going to drive back to my – let's see where Zavi's at. First, we're going to get to Zavi, who I've had the honor of racing with before. A nice guy. Love how he drives. Uh, one of those people that you kind of just like, I don't know why I'm losing and I'm happy about it. <laughs> so, Zavi is a <clears throat> fast racer. He's done pretty good with this track today. Uh, has a really excellent line here. And brought an awesome Infernus Classic to the race today. I really like it. So the next one, it's like, I'm going to start calling the fan favorite. Here we have Bros, the one and only. Bringing his dirt track wheels to the to the track here with his Infernus Classic. Uh, these are sports classic vehicles, and they are f really cool. One of my favorite cars. It's just too bad that... Um, <clears throat> Uh, it's too bad they're not usable in sport. A lot of times we do use the sport races, and uh, that kind of, you know, hinders it. Um, so, like I said, I wanted to remind everybody, Children of the Mountain is the group that hosts this event. Uh, they are uh, a good group of guys. They have six divisions. These races are ev held every Sunday. Uh, just get in touch with them. They're um, they're. They're just guys. They'll help you out. They'll make sure that you get everything. There's one thing. I'm I'm one of those people that's just not very good at keeping up with new technology sometimes. And when it comes to stuff like uh, Discord and other things, it can get tough for me. So um, I need guys to, to help me out and kind of walk me through some of the things the way they have them. And uh, and they've done a great job with it. And, uh, and I've been very happy with uh, working with them. And... Um, 
working with the organization and seeing the races, all friendly people. You're going to have a great time, whether you're a new racer or somebody who's just picked it up and said, hey, I want to try this out. Uh, you can do nothing but learn from a group of guys who are this fast. And, and the thing is, is you, you later on, try this track if you get a chance. I'm going to try to put, uh, at least on the YouTube side, I'm going to try to put the link to the track uh, in the comments so you guys can see the track and uh, go to their social club and check them out and join in and make sure you can throw some races so when you get the chance to run these races you're going to be like how did they make those times and trust me you'll get it once you have once you're in, in a lobby full of guys that are really fast it makes it you, you start going well okay now it's starting to come to me and and they're going to teach you some tricks that that are not in the instructional manual and never will be <laughs> so and just as a reminder i am vip primo uh, the Lord of all that is racing, at least with the coverage side of it. And uh, and I cover every kind of event there is when it comes to racing. We have the Fukara Super GT. We have the Atomic World Challenge. We have the Trophy Truck Racing. And uh, we also have bike racing and some other things that come out. And basically a lot of those are seasonal. So it's, it's kind of tough to say when stuff will happen. Uh, Fukara has another race coming up <clears throat> tonight. Uh, for Sunday night, and uh, those guys will probably be I think their second or second to last race before they end their points. Uh, the other one is the Sprunk Extreme One Cup, which is a hot ring saber race, which is a blast. And like I said, any of those, it doesn't matter if you're popping fresh, brand new, want to use stock cars or whatever, you can jump right in, and uh, I'd be a part of it. So if you're looking for that on Social Club, it's Sport GT Racing. All right, so now we're starting to do some uh, some pit running, and there we go. There's oh, the design has moved up into the first position. Oh no, yeah, oh, the design. Jeremy Clarkson and Friday V4 and Movo was Ali Cans behind them. So as we, what's going to happen is, is that's the tricky part about this, and that one makes uh, COTM so much cooler than some of the other racing that I've seen, is that you have a certain sort of pit strategy where people drive into the pits, and when they drive into the pits, they're going to have to do, well, it's two pits per race, and those changeovers are going to cause a little bit of delay in how well they handle that, when they handle it, uh, and change over the leads uh, quite a bit, so... There's Jeremy Clarkson. Oh, that design is way up there. So I'm trying to listen in right now. They had some pit issues uh, with some of the racers. So I'm going to see. I mean, let's try to listen in here as we look. These are, this is second, third, and fourth. Uh, if you're wondering, that this person right here, Movo, is the one that I deal with when I'm talking. I think he's pretty much the leader of the group. So, so if you send him a message and say, hey, I'm interested in joining your racing division, he'll probably send you a message back and go, we'd love to have you. <laughs> So again, we're looking at third, oh, excuse me, second, third, and fourth. Oh, design is up in first position. He's so far up there, I can't even see him. Chances are he hasn't taken his pit yet. And uh, what's happening is we're really looking at a changeover that's going to happen shortly. Uh, that has to happen uh, because of the pit strategies that are going on. Especially when, like, well, let's look back over. So, see that 103.119? He's currently the fastest. Then there's Friday V4. Um, another 103 that's he stepped up time. And then we got Fancy Club 103 way in the back there. So, those guys are going to start moving up through the, the tracks, especially when things change over for the pits. And Mo right now is gunning for Friday V4. That's the thing with uh, the Infernus Classic. I haven't seen as much battling out as we saw in some of the other races. It, this is a weird car. It's very 
back end happy. Like it's the back end of it just wants to kick out when you least expect it. <clears throat> so it's one of those vehicles. Maybe it's just a little bit, you know, it's hard to know where to push it or how to know how far out to push it. So that might be something that we're running into with some of these guys that they're having an issue with. Uh, we've, we're already having problems with some of the pit stuff, making sure that they honk when they come into the pits. So just relaying some of that information over. So there, I just heard bros going into his pit. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I think O design, yeah, okay, so O's still up there. And then I got Mo to jump back to, so he'll be easy to come back to. <clears throat> we're going to try to measure some distance here. We'll try to get a landmark, and then we'll see how far back. So you can see the difference between this somebody up in the 103s and for dominating first position. So there's the pit right there. Now we're going to move back to Movo. Hopefully it loads really fast. There we go. So there's... So we're going to come up on the pit that's up, going to be up here on the left, I believe. That was the pit section right there. If I can get my thing to look at it. <laughs> As we passed under fancy. And Moe's looking for that inside of Friday V4. Trying to take that uh, third position away. Looks like he, uh, when he got out of that corner, he threw on a Friday, threw on a ton of speed. Oh, and so how the races are set up. Somebody asked me about that earlier, and I want to make sure that I get that over. Um, the settings for the races under GTA style, when they do the pit the way they say they're going to race next, uh, or they're going to let them out of the pit, is as they pop them once with uh, with a weapon of some sort, and that way you, know, you hear the tink off the metal, and you know you can go. <coughs> Um, GTA also allows for like, so if you have little, uh, wrench icons, you can tap the wrench icon, which is the, similar to going through the pits. So they just hit the wrenches and that's why they repair what they can within a certain amount of time. So one thing, and that's, I'm going to say this to anybody that's creating a race out there. Every time the biggest mistake I see, uh, as we see Movo riding up Friday, man, he is just gunning for him right now. Um, one of the biggest mistakes I've seen is, is there's only a certain amount of or I guess the word is a finite amount of repair a car can have uh, in the pits. But every time I see them, they always have four or five of those little wrench icons in the in the thing there. Now, I don't know how much of that is a number game. So, if in other words, if it was you hit one or two, then it repairs you a certain amount. Or maybe one just repairs you completely. I hope it's not like that. But it would be cool to just have a race where... When you go through the pits, there's that one icon. You tap that icon, and then that icon's not showing, or maybe two icons or something, but that icon doesn't show up until whenever. So if somebody else wants to go through the pit, there's a finite amount of repair that each person can do. So there's the slowdown, Max. There's Mo, Mo, Movo is going through the slowdown there, and he's going into the pits. So you can see that's how they they do that so he's going to count off a 10 second walk and then he's going to let him go <clears throat> he was really gunning for friday there i thought he had him but the pits are the pits you gotta i mean you do the the thing not to do is to let that uh pit lane kind of dominate your mindset and make you say oh i can't think about it i just gotta keep racing and and it it hurts you later on Yeah, we just answered a quick question on what's over in the stream. And now moving back to the race real quick. As we go back to Friday V4, who has settled into that third place position. But there is his pit lane maneuver. So is Zavi going to be able to catch up to that position? It's the one guy. You always have that one guy that's way down the list. And you're like, ah, I want to see who this is. And Zavi also comes into the pits. 
We're gonna move right back to Mo. See how the all the the checkpoints there is like repair, repair, repair. Just have one or two, and then the only time you can repair is when that when that is there. That would be a blast to watch. <clears throat> so who's that behind Mo? Bo? We're gonna jump to Jeremy Clarkson. Has not the real Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> has moved up there. Fancy club. Let's see. Has O the design actually pitted this whole race? Oh, spun out, caught up to him right when he was walking around that corner. So fifth place, is Avi gonna be able to catch him? Or see, there's some distance between those two guys, so. We go back to Friday. And there he's back on Movo again. This is for, yeah, so this is third and fourth. Good question. 103's up front, so now we got a whole load of 103's. Uh, and that's really the trick to a lot of these tracks, and, and people get made aware of the tracks way in advance uh, so that they can know to run the tracks and practice them. One of the things, and if I could teach anybody in any kind of racing what to do, uh, the biggest thing you want to do is get in that track early, practice, 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 because if you'll notice, the guys that are up front are the guys who get the best laps early and stuck with them. Sometimes being fast later does not help you when you're being fast early. So if you've got that dominant first position, you're out there with no traffic, nobody to bang into you, nothing to worry about except for lap traffic down the road. <clears throat> It can play a key role in making sure that you're the fastest guy on the track later down the uh, down the way because now they got one of the threes, but they got to make up with the fastest guy out there right now, and he's been holding that same 103 the whole entire race. So if he does one 102 in the equation, then he's going fast enough to keep these guys it off. I don't know if that was O the design, but I remember somebody saying that they're checking for that that pit lane schedule that they have. So we got Fancy Club with the 103572 is the next fastest next to the 103027 of O the design. But his pit could, could basically ruin him if, if everybody else is being a lot more consistent with a 103, which we pretty much know that's not true. Um, hopefully he'll have enough leeway between him and that next position that when he pits, uh, it's going to pull him, rein him right back in again. <clears throat> so why are we sticking back with Friday V4? I'll make it easy for you. This this is the competition and this is where it's at. First place position is so far up front right now. There isn't even a reason to look at it. But, you know, we will. I, you know, I love giving my guys... You know what? Thank you for watching the stream, keeping up with it. I'll give you a quick view of him so we can see where he's at in the equation. Hopefully, we'll catch him on his uh, on his uh, stop for pits if he hasn't hit it already. He's coming up on lap traffic right now. So, let's see. You know, we'll stick with him because, remember, he's going to be way faster than these guys, I think. It would be kind of funny to watch him drive up on somebody. So, those, that's am I... Am I too fast? Wow. Okay, so he's at the seventh place position behind Zavi is who he's gunning for right now. I believe he's about one, about a full second ahead faster than than him when it comes to the track. I just find it funny that they're running in the dirt there. And the, I believe, I mean, somebody correct me if I'm wrong there, but those are tuner tires. They have to be. So we see him passing over the top of those guys using a little curb boosting. Am too fast goes way out of the corner there. And here comes our guy design with an awesome license plate. Just looking at that, <laughs> that, that uh, vanity plate that he has on there. It's amazing to see him cut distance. Just you can see him actually move up on the guys. So I think M2 Fast is kind of moving out of the way to let him by. 
So that's good. Now he kind of henpecks the wall there. That's actually going to work in his favor because hitting the wall like that, actually, you see the damage. You can see a lot of guys with damage on that front left bumper. Uh, and what that does is um, allows them to spring recoil of the the cars um, of the car suspension. And in game terms, based on frame rate, that makes the car go faster. And it can make a car go a lot faster. If you guys, anybody, pick up a gargoyle and use some of the big rims on it. I forgot the actual name of them, but there's a couple of rims in there. You can do a wheelie on it and do upwards of 170 miles per hour on it. Uh, and it's basically a, I don't even want to use the term a glitch. Uh, it's actually how the cars are programmed in the game. And if you bought any of the new cars like the, uh, the Entity XXR, uh, you'll notice that they have big time issues when they hit curbs and they do other things. And that's because it's something that Rockstar is trying to work on. So, and I've also heard, and this is just a complete rumor, uh, if somebody wants to correct me on it, that would be awesome, was... um. The reason the Jester Classic isn't out is because they're trying to work on that because they want that car to be uh, a good car that, I mean, everybody is all into the Jester Classic because, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's 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 a Supra. Um, I know Rockstar doesn't like me saying that, but uh, comparing their cars to real-life cars because of the similarities. But there's a lot of places where that car isn't like a Supra. But let's be honest, we here as players see Supra, and that's what we're doing, so... So that was, see, I made up for it. I'm good. <laughs> nobody can nobody can be mad at me. So there it is. There's Design taking his lap. So let's Jeremy Clarkson. Come on. Jeremy. There's AM too fast. Let's see how much distance he has to make up between here and, oh, that's a, it might as well be a, a world apart. So there's, that's where the pit was. We're going to drop back to Friday V4. Why is it loading? He's like right behind him, isn't he? No? Okay, I guess he's not. Uh, we'll go back to Jeremy Clarkson. And I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Okay. So Design has kept that lead from Clarkson. I see Fancy move back, so I'm guessing oh, Friday V4 went into his his pit. So there's a lot of difference diff, distance between him and O that I don't think is going to be able he's going to be able to make up. I'm guessing that's him up there around that corner. Hopefully we'll be able to get a good view of it. And if we do, we can kind of. And there he goes in. So that's the end of that. Fancy club is next. Wow, he was having trouble before. So I'm hearing guys saying that they're into the first pit run. And Fancy has not pitted yet. So he's trying to get uh, a one good lap if he could. But Fancy just says he has had his. And we haven't really been covering him. Okay, so there's a little bit of discussion there. I don't even know if we're going to be able to catch up with it, but. So Club has had no, they're saying that Club has had no pits right now. And Fancy is saying that he has. All the top guys, Zavi, some of the other guys, uh, all the guys up here has, have had one stop. Fancy has said he's done two, but I don't know if this, maybe he's, maybe he's playing with him. I don't know. Let's, we're going to, we're going to stick with him for a second here. One reason why I go back to that leaderboard is you can see the little microphones will pop up next to him. You can see him talking. So that way I know who's saying what. Uh, I think I'm a little bit used to the voices now, so I can kind of figure out, figure out who's doing it. So 
tell you, I'm just trying to listen in for here for a second. So I don't know how that was resolved. Maybe he's had the pit. Maybe he hasn't. Regardless, he's going to be in the third position with Friday V4 behind him. Let's go up to Jeremy Clarkson real quick. See far, how far off he is from... Can he see leader position or is he just in with the traffic? There's some guys up there fighting it out. It's one of those times where you're like, I'm scared to move. Oh, smooth J. And oh, that's all oh, the design. There we go. Now, was that taking the position? Yes, it was. That was the pie. I had a feeling that that was the group up there. Maybe he got caught into that laugh traffic and just. But he's going to try to take this back from Jeremy right now. But Clarkson needs another stop. And Fancy needs to. Yeah, they've ruled that Fancy needs two stops. He hasn't. His other stops aren't going to count. But Jeremy here, who is moving ahead, still hasn't taken one of his laps. And he is here with O Design breathing down his neck. And there he goes, moving into first. So they won't be able to pit after uh, once they get to the last. I guess the the last three laps you can't pit. So he's got to get that pit done before before he gets there. And and for those of you who are watching, please pay attention to something. You're gonna see guys on here with a, th a level thousand. It's not that crazy, okay? You don't have to boot people that has a level thousand. If you want to know if somebody's cheating or not, it's pretty simple. Go and look at their KD ratio, and. Uh, and if their KD ratio is, like, way off, chances are they have a hacked account. And if not, just let them play with you. Don't kick them like you kick me all the time. <laughs> and if you're wondering, I'm, I'm, I think I'm just shy of seven, level 700. And the reason I do that is because I've played since 2013. And I've played rather consistently, obviously. You yeah, know, we're into you know, 2018 now, and I'm, I'm still playing away. So, and uh, having a lot of fun doing it. Definitely, I'm not. Am I on the level of scale? I'm no. I'm. I used to be a really good guy. I got a positive, you know, KD uh, win loss. I, I used to have a positive win loss on racing, um, but I was not able to keep up with some of the things like curb boosting and and wall banging and all that stuff. I, I just don't get into it, and I usually design my races so that people don't have to use that stuff to compete. So. But it's always good to have, I mean, that's the thing is, is races like this, you can see the ability that people have developed over time to just be fast on the track. Use every kind of glitch, every kind of, you know, thing that, that makes a game what it is and find a way to get faster and be competitive. And, you know, they, I think a lot of this stuff needs tournament style racing. I mean, we've. we've been pushing for it for a while. I mean, it's AW, if you've watched Atomic World Challenge, I mean, it's tournament it's tournament style level racing right there and i mean we want to see the you know the tournaments so that's jeremy is taken first who did was that oh the design i think oh went into the maybe he went into the pits did he oh want a pit or i don't know um but yeah that, that's oh yeah, so there's the there's the pit I want to go over to the design before he takes that position back. <laughs> okay, that's see he's taken back over and pits are completed. So that's it, guys. One more lap to go. And then we'll be... That'll be it. They're confirming all the pits again. So we're going to have one more lap here of a pretty dominant run today by Ola Design. Uh, 
and in a, in an exceptionally good looking Inferno's Classic too that he's kept very clean. There he passes the pit for the last time. And Jeremy Clarkson ran a good race today too. I think his a lot of his stuff had to do with pit strategy. A lot of people who kind of just just decided to race and race and race and race and race and then at the end of it throw their pit in. Yep, so there's the finish right there. So already congratulations are going around. Uh, let's see, so after Jeremy is going to be Friday. So there's that. So we're on Bros right now, uh, Movo. Move over to Movo. Chances are I'll make it there just in time for him to pass the finish line. Smooth, yeah. There we go. And I got it right at the last second there, so that's good. And just as he passes the finish line, a lot of these guys are getting together. It was an exceptional race, but again, dominance is dominance. He, he took the race from the very beginning of the race, kept it all the way through to the end. And here we are sitting in the pits. Looking at one of the one a really good race. So thank you for watching. We're gonna if you're on the stream, just hold right back on. We'll be right back with uh, Division One. And otherwise, thank you for checking it out, and we'll see you next time.